how many of you guys are actually really making money trading futures now <clears throat> again the majority of you are not making money uh trading futures because you're oversized i don't care who you listen to i don't care how long you've been watching my videos i don't care what the you know what the reason that you guys really have for you know seeming to not understand what the hell is really going on in the market but the the number one fact in in why i know you're not making money is because you're trying to make too much money too fast and i'm going to explain something to you guys right now that you guys really need to let sink in because if you don't let this sink in, you're going to continue to lose money and you're going to continue to wonder, you know, what's wrong with your strategy. You're going to continue to wonder what's wrong with you. You're going to continue to blame everything else other than yourself. Now, the whole reason why I started Evolution Traders and I started mentoring students and started trading live so they can see my screen and started offering courses and doing all this stuff is because I was just simply tired of the comments of people, you know, not understanding what they're doing wrong. I was tired of people not trusting technical analysis. I don't care what you use, guys. You can use, you know, supply and demand. You can use the 20 SMA like I do. You can use um, order blocks. You can use ICT. You can use, you know, whatever you want to use. The RSI, you can use EMAs. I don't really care what you're using, but you're not sticking to the plan enough and you're trying to make too much money. The problem is, is that, you know, you're trading futures, you're trading too many contracts or you're trading too many minis. You know, you make some money, you get really excited, you make four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars in a day, and then you give it all back and you blow your account. Um, and you keep on doing this over and over and over, thinking something's going to change. It's like, you know, looking at a brick wall and, and trying to run through the brick wall. I don't care how many times you guys run as fast as you can into that brick wall, you're never going to break the brick wall. Okay. That's exactly what's happening. So, again, for those of you guys who have been watching my YouTube videos, you guys have a general understanding of how I use this 20 SMA. I'm looking for closes underneath the 20 SMA, looking for confirmations. I'm getting in. I'm using a one bar stop. I'm going to give you guys a very simple, simple, simple uh, example here. If you guys follow just my strategy alone, because I can only speak on my strategy, you guys should have banked. You guys should have taken one trade technically on the NQ. You should have held it for an extended period of time and you should have made money and you should have gone about your day on Friday. Let's look at the first setup that we have here at 7.20 in the morning Pacific Standard Time. Now, this is, a, this is a drastic red candle. Most of you guys are thinking right now to yourselves, well, I can't give myself a full one bar stop because I'd be stopped out. Why? Right? If you're, if you're thinking that, your size is too big. Right. And, and if you're also thinking that, you know, you have to give it 10 points or five points before you get stopped out, trade smaller size. Get it through your head that you're not going to make $1,000 a day based on trying to have like a 5, 10, 15 point stop loss. Your stop loss is going to be different each and every single time. Each and every single candlestick is different. Some candlesticks might be 5 points. Some candlesticks might be 35. And if you don't have the correct position size on your plate, you're going to get stopped out. You're going to have massive losses. And you're going to think that you don't know what you're doing. And you're going to, going to continue to lose money without being profitable. I want you guys to pay attention to something here. This candle at 7.20 in the morning PST closes below the 20 SMA. Your entry is here. So I'm going to draw a very decisive line so I can give you guys a very decisive price entry point. Your entry point pivot would have been 14974 Your stop loss would have been set here. Okay. I'm going to use the example. I'm going to use the example of a one bar stop trading two micro contracts. If you would have gotten in on the breakdown of this play here at 725, you would have entered into the NQ short at 974, 14,974. And you bet your ass that this bounces against you. And if you're trading too much size or you're trading uh, mini contracts or you're trading too many micro contracts, even at that point, you would have had to sit through essentially around a 50 point drawdown in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes. Okay, 50 points. If you're trading two micro contracts, if we take the 50 points that you would have been in drawdown per one contract, that would be a $100 loss. Being that we're playing two micro contracts, that would have been a $200 loss. If we would have closed over our one bar stop. Now, I want to point something out on this candlestick here. Okay, give me a second. This candlestick here does break your one bar stop. Okay. At this point in time, you would have been down 52, 53 points on the NQ. Now, as much as trading two contracts and being down $200 seems like a lot, 
realistically it never closes over your one bar stop essentially giving you the reason to have never gotten out of the trade okay so why are you losing money are you losing money because you don't understand what's going on are you losing money because you're trying to make too much cash per trade and you're trading too big yes the majority of you guys 99 98 percent of you guys are putting on too much size to where you're not even allowing yourself enough time to see if the move's going to work for one thing here here's the high of day at 15,060. we never take out the high of day we never close above your one bar stop although you would have been down 200 dollars at this point in time here on two micro contracts we never close over your one bar stop and we proceed to trickle down and as we trickle down here to the low of day where you would have got into an entry we kind of consolidate sideways do this another dead cat bounce where we get rejected here ultimately being the third lower high being put in this drastic candle you would have been a part of most of you guys are going to do one thing as soon as you even if you do sit through this you're going to be stressed you're going to be sad here you're going to be stressed here and as soon as we break the low of day you're going to sell out for profit and you're just going to have a deep sigh of relief only to see that this trades down to the 200 which is your next support zone system so if you're trading this type of chart you would understand that we have support here however when we do bounce once again we get rejected again putting in our fourth lower high okay once we do get rejected at this 20 sma the next time is when we get that deep dark flush and when we get this deep dark flush we come all the way down to a price of i'll just pick random candlesticks at this point in time 1488 14 888 from a price of 14,974 is almost 100 points. So if we're trading two micro contracts and you would have taken 100 points off of one contract, it's $200. If you would have taken 100 points off of two contracts, it's $400. At this point in time here, anywhere in this area, you would have been up $400 on just two micro contracts. Yes, at one point in time, you were down negative 200. But again, if you think about it, and especially if you're trading prop firms, is being too, is being down $200 really that much, that big of a deal? No, I don't think so. I think even if you're trading a personal account and you take one trade and you lose $200, that's fine. Maybe you just stop trading and you come back the next day. But if you would have just simply held for an extended period of time, you could have been at $400. Now let's continue on with this play. We get down into this demand zone here that I teach you guys how to create in the live trading in evolution traders so if you guys do want to learn how to create your demand zone so you can see where you can take profits at uh definitely join that link will be down in the description box below the new month has started i only take on a few students it's first come first serve so act quickly with that being said if i was to take one of these candlesticks that comes down into this demand zone here the price is 831 our, our entry price would have been 974. We're up almost 220 points. If we look at the absolute bottom wick when we do actually test this demand zone that I had on prior uh, to this price action even hitting this, because that's the thing, it's very easy to draw on these lines once price action has already hit them. But if you had this demand zone prior, you would have been taking profits here at around 817 or profits down here at around 812. Now, if you look at the entry price of 974, you're talking about almost 150 points up from your entry where you never would have gotten stopped out at. So the real reason, why did you get stopped out of this short play? Because your size too heavy. That all That's all that there is to it. 150 points, 140 points on two micro contracts would have netted you anywhere between three and $500, depending on where you got in and where you got out. Even if you would have held until the first time that we broke over the 20 SMA, you would have gotten out at a price of 864 from an entry price of 974 so you would have been up 110 points that would have been essentially 100 points per contract which is 200 you would have been up about 400 to 425 dollars on this entire play and i would say that that's a hell of a day considering that you would have started your day at 6 30 in the morning and you would have been done working at 11 40 in the morning and again you would have made over 400 dollars on this trade so the real question is why are you not making money on a day in and day out basis because these moves happen multiple times a week these move these moves happen more than they don't okay but the problem is is that when you get short here and you're oversized you take a big loss here you try to take the next play to the long side you take a big loss here by the time this next flush comes you're so scared and you're down so big that you can't afford to take another trade so you sit out and then you look at the market, continue to go in the same direction that you thought it was gonna go, and you complain and you cry and you bicker and you look for new ways or new strategies or new entries to try to take these trades when realistically, it's the only reason why you're not winning is because of you. 
the moment you start identifying that you are being too greedy and you are not patient enough and you don't have the discipline to even hold through these moves is the moment you're going to start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It took me a very, very long time, almost two and a half years to see that, that it's not about how much money I can make on this one particular trade. It's not about taking massive size to try to hit a home run right off the bat. It's about being able to be in the price action long enough to see if it's going to even play out in my favor. And you cannot do that if you are playing too many contracts. You cannot do that if you have too much risk on the table. However, if you were playing two or one micro contract or even three micro contracts, you would have been able to sit through this entire move, allow your strategy to play out and take profits two to three hours later for a huge win and be very, very happy to go into the weekend. If you guys want to see me trade each and every single day live and you want that live play by play technical analysis where we can trade together, make sure you guys join Evolution Traders. If not, continue to lose money. It is what it is.